Detective. 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 I know you, but who I am means absolutely nothing to you. Wanting people to listen. You cannot just tap them on the shoulder anymore. You have to hit them with a sledgehammer and then you will see that you have their strict attention. I'm not special. I've never been exceptional. I'm not saying this because I want people to listen. This represents what I do, my work. You haven't seen the whole act yet, but when all this is finished, when it's done, there will be... People won't be able to comprehend. They won't be able to deny. I doubt I enjoyed more than the detective would in spending time with me in a room without windows. Wouldn't that make you happy, detective, to be able to hurt me with impunity? But you wouldn't. You wouldn't because of the consequences I can see in your eyes. Though there is nothing wrong with a man taking pleasure in his work, I wouldn't deny my personal desire to turn each sin against a sinner. Innocent people. Innocent people? Is this supposed to be funny? An obese man? A man so disgusting who could barely stand up? A man who if you saw him on the street you would point him out to your friends so they could join you in mocking him? A man who if you saw him while you were eating you wouldn't be able to finish your meal? And after him, I picked the lawyer. And you two must have been secretly thanking me on this one. This is a man who dedicated his life to making money by lying, using every breath he could muster to keep in murderers and rapists on the streets. A woman. A woman! So ugly on the inside, she couldn't bear going on living if she couldn't be beautiful on the outside. A drug dealer. A drug dealing pederast, actually. And let's not forget the disease-spreading whore. Only in a world so shitty you could even call these people innocent and keep a straight face. But that's the point. That's the point. There's deadly sin on every street corner, in every home, and we tolerate it. We tolerate it because it's coming, it's trivial. We tolerate it morning, noon, and night. But not anymore. I'm setting the example. And what I've done will be puzzled over, studied, and followed forever. Realize it, detective. The only reason that I'm here right now with you is because I wanted to. And don't tell me this was part of your plan. Because if it was, then what were you doing? Binding your time, toying with me, allowing five innocent people to die until you felt like springing your trap? Tell me, detective, what indisputable evidence you were going to use on me right before I came up to you with my hands in the air? You are only alive because I didn't kill you. I spared you. Remember that, detective. Every time you look into the mirror at that face of yours for the rest of your life, or should I say, the rest of what life I allowed you to have. You know, I visited your home this morning. When you left, I wanted to play husband. I wanted to have a taste of a life of a simple man. It didn't work out. So I took a souvenir. Her beautiful head. It seems I envy your normal life. I, I guess envy is my sin. Become vengeance, detective. Become wrath. She begged me, detective. She begged me for her life and for the life of the baby inside of her. Oh. 
You didn't know.